The Core Kronos contains nine powerful sound engines. One of these is the Poly 6 EX. The Poly 6 EX is a virtual analog synth which is comprised of the features and sonic character of the classic Core Poly 6 and the additional functionality that the power of the Kronos brings to it. It boasts a whopping 180 voice polyphony and an oscillator, a sub oscillator, a four pole resonant low pass filter, dedicated chorus ensemble and phaser effects as well as classic ADSR parameters and two multi-stage envelope generators and much, much more. Let's dive into this expansive sound engine so that you can take advantage of all the power underneath your fingertips. Welcome to this tutorial on the Core Kronos Poly 6 EX sound engine. And I do wanna say before we get started that this is video number three. Um, there are two other videos that come prior to this. I do recommend that you go in sequential order. You don't have to, but it is definitely something that I recommend. So what we're going to be going over in this tutorial is we're going to be going over this section here which says MG. It is the modulation generator um, section. Now the modulation generator section right here is actually an LFO that is shared between all the voices, all the poly six voices in your board. Um, this LFO functions in three different modes. Uh, the first mode is the VCO mode and the modes are controlled by this uh, this toggle here. So it says modes and there are three different modes. VCO is a pitch modulation mode. So uh, your all of your modulation will happen to its pitch. For instance, I'll show you. Now it's going back up. So VCO controls the pitch. If you go down to the next one, which is going to be VCF, now the modulation is going to control the filter cutoff. This filter's closing. Now the filter's opening back up. It'll just keep cycling. Filter is going to start closing again. Now the filter is opening back up. All right, perfect. And so the next mode is going to be VCA, and VCA is going to control the amplitude. So now your uh, LFO or your modulation generator is going to control your amplitude. The volume goes down. And cycles and comes back up. And back down. So those are three modes. Um, VC, VCO, which is a pitch modulation VCF, which is going to be your filter cutoff modulation, and then it's going to have a VCA, which is going to be your amplitude. Um, now your frequency times knob controls uh, how frequent the LFO cycles. So right now, right, it's on the pitch, it's on VCO, so it's gonna control the pitch. Because the frequency is set at zero, it doesn't cycle very quickly. But as I move the frequency up, it will cycle faster through that pitch modulation. So now it's moving faster. I can make it go even faster. Even faster. Even faster. Or I can go back to slow. And that applies to every single mode. So if I go down to the VCF with the cutoff, and the filter is opening and closing very slowly, but I can get it to open and close faster by increasing the frequency.
And of course, the same thing then applies to your last mode, which is going to be the VCA, which is controls your amplitude. I can make it go even faster. We can go extremely slow by changing it to, changing it to zero. So three different modes, frequency knob. Next knob is going to be your delay knob. Now the delay knob controls the timing for which the uh, modulation occurs. So let me just turn this timing up real quick. We can hear it. Right now the delay, the delay right now is set at zero. So the minute I hit a key, the modulation starts. But if I turn the delay up, it delays the time in which the modulation starts. Watch. Now it starts. I can take the delay up even further. So that's what the uh, delay knob does. Now the next knob here is going to be your um, level knob. And your level knob, this controls the intensity of the modulation. And just turn the delay off really quickly. Now, if I turn the level down, the intensity goes away. So if I turn all the way down to zero, there is no modulation. If I turn it up slightly, you hear it come in slightly. And all the way up. Perfect. Next, we have some sync options here. Um, so let's talk about the uh, the key sync first. I have the key sync on. Let me just change this mode. I just want to do it in a mode where you can hear it really easily. So we're going to go to the pitch mode, the VCO. Now what the key sync is doing is every time I hit the keys, the phrase resets. So the phrasing is controlled by the keys being hit. That's why it's called key sync. Uh, now the phrase will not be reset if I'm doing a chord and I have like um, uh, other legato notes coming in after the first chord, after the first note. So we go like this. So it doesn't reset. When that happens. Now, if I turn key sync off and I hit the keys, There's no resetting. If I turn it on, the phrase resets every single time. Turn it off. It keeps modulating even when I'm not hitting the keys. So let me just turn it on right now. All right. Now the next thing here is we have a tempo sync. Now the tempo sync, um, what that's going to do is it allows your modulation generator to sync to your MIDI clock. 
So now it is literally the MIDI clock that is controlling it. Let me go down to a different mode here. I'll do amplitude. And as I increase the time on the MIDI clock, it gets faster. I'm gonna slow it down. Ah, let's go to filter cutoff. Increase the MIDI clock. But it's just syncing to the MIDI clock. You can hear it if I put a drum track on. All right, if I slow the drum track down, the modulation will slow down as well. Now I can turn the frequency up of the modulation even when it's the sync is on to make it go a little faster. Here we go. Let's go. Right now, the next thing here, you might have saw me adjust it a little earlier. Uh, this is your bass note. Now, uh, your bass note is going to allow you to control the basic speed uh, of the modulation um, relative to the tempo. And so it comes in notes. So uh, right now it's on a eighth note. I can switch it to 16th note, speeds it up, but it's still synced to the clock. So if I change the bass note to um, half note, still synced. But you're getting that half note modulation. So those are the parameters and what they do in the modulation generator section.